I'm the OG Ho again. Welcome back to Homemade Cooking. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make taquitos. What you're gonna do is melt some Kerrygold Irish butter, uh, two tablespoons of it in a saucepan. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of flour and whisk it. Okay. And it's on lowest, like the lowest heat you can, you can do it on. Right? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, don't you fall in there. Don't you fall in there. Then we're gonna do a cup of milk. And I do um, like whole fat milk, I guess is what it's called. Whole calorie milk, whatever. And we're gonna slowly whisk this into there. Here we go, I guess that was kind of slow. You want the what that stuff the flour to kind of dissolve, or to actually not kind of dissolve, but to dissolve. All right. So once that's melted, then we're slowly adding in two cups of freshly grated. Remember, we don't fucking buy that. Um, uh, we want to turn up to about medium. We don't buy that pre-shredded stuff. Freshly shredded cheese and you stir it in slowly. You want it to melt, but you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. If you have non-stick pans like I do, then you know, you got a little bit more leeway with your stirring. If you don't, then you have to stir literally constantly. I also did not, um, uh, uh, shred the cheese all the way perfectly, but it's okay because it's gonna melt anyway. Look at that, you see how beautiful that is? Oh, oh my God, I sound like a real chef. I am. I'm the hoji chef. <laughs> see, it's becoming cheese saucy. Now, if you wanna be fancy, or if you like queso, you add in, um, those that can of diced rotel tomatoes or you can or it's like hot chili tomatoes and you can add in hot chilies um it's all the way up to you i just like cheese all hoes love cheese always remember that all hoes love cheese i think puff daddy said that or bill burr same difference and it's the truth hold on were they making fun of hoes and calling us rats because we like cheese? you know what whatever G I'm, a, I'm a Jesus cheeser now. Whatever. Okay. Add in your last little bit. Put that over there and stir it until melted. So this really only takes all of 20 minutes to do. And this is how you make your dips. So just keep stirring and keep stirring and keep stirring and keep stirring. Stir, 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 stir. stir. Some people like to let it bubble, but it really is done now. I just like to make sure that it's all the way. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, it's beautiful. Just wanna make sure it's 100% done. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the chicken. First thing you're gonna do is chop up your garlic. I'm a weirdo. I love the taste of finely or fresh garlic that's been cooked. Or like I leave it in there. Most people, when they make food, they uh, put the garlic in there and they take it out when they're done once it gives the food its flavor. I leave it in because I love it. So we chop that up. I also love onion. Just make sure you, if you do, if you are like me, um, just make sure that you. Drink a lot of lemon ginger tea because garlic can make your pussy stink and smell like garlic if you eat a lot of it. However, if you drink a lot of lemon ginger tea, it doesn't stink and trust me, I do not walk around stinking. So, you know, cause you don't want garlic pussy. They will make fun of you. And men talk, they gossip worse than women. Most of the time they just gossip to their hoes and they tell me about how their wife's pussy smell like garlic. I tell them, get your wife some lemon ginger tea. Get her some lemon. It'll help. You also want to cut the onion. I always cut my fucking fingers, but I think we're, well, I think we're good today. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I love big pieces of onion. 
I love onion. Okay. Then we put that in our pot. It's got a little bit of olive oil in it. Okay. Saute that. Let that do its thing. My heat's on like medium low. I have a gas stove, so it's a little different. Then we're going to season our chicken. And I know most of the time I don't season with anything more than salt and pepper. But today we are making taco type things. We're actually making uh, a lot of taco type things. And um, this is a little bit of cumin. So you have to have taco seasoning. So this is cumin and chili powder, salt, pepper, cumin, and chili powder. And honestly, when I figure out how to make my own cumin and chili powder, I will. I have not figured that out yet. And you just play with it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just play with it. It should sound like making love. Hear that? If, if that's what, uh, if it doesn't sound like that, or if you don't sound like this, go to a doctor. Um, or, you know, teach them some new stuff. Tell them to learn some new stuff from the OG. I have an entire video on where I teach different sex positions, like when he put his foot on my head and, you know, all these different ones. Just, just ask. Or uh, not even ask. Just go watch it. All right now, it's beautiful. We are going to put it directly over the onions. Trust me. I know. Y'all are like, what the fuck is she doing? Trust me. If you don't trust me on anything trust me on chick okay trust me on this chicken okay i'm trying to make sure i have enough room for all of them well there's three left all right so we'll just let that cook we're gonna put our a lid over it we're gonna let it cook for a little while and we're gonna flip it all right so now it looks like this now that it's done we're going to transfer it to our cutting board this cutting board is strictly for meat. If I were y'all, I would have a cutting board that is strictly for meat. Um, it prevents cross-contamination. And as the OG ho, I have been notorious for giving myself food poisoning. So I know all about how to, um, how to uh, not get it. I'm just putting the last three in there. So now we're going to chop these up for your, for your taquitos. Oh, it's hot. Be careful. It's hot. Oh my word, it's hot as hell. So if it's hot, just pray. You got this. Remember remember how I taught y'all how to not run from it? Where y'all kind of go into a mental space in your head where nothing hurts and then you start to really like it? That's what you gotta do with these. Just go into that space where it just feels good. The pain feels good, you like it. Oh honey, yes. Go ahead, put that whole thing in me, baby. There we go, see? I don't even feel the heat anymore. Oh, yes I do. No, okay. All right, that's chopped up. So what we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna make our sauce in a bowl. We're gonna take some uh, taco, what is it called? Salsa? Yeah, salsa. I use mild because I can't stand stuff that's really spicy. I can never get it out, baby. Okay, I'm out that much because we're gonna make three. Okay, and then we're going to pour some of our cheese sauce. I forgot my spoon. Okay, we're going to pour some of our cheese sauce. Now it is going to, um, I think the term is coagulate. It's going to harden. You just have to reheat it. Uh oh, uh oh. See, you want nonstick pans. Get yourself some nonstick pans. They're a little pricey, but I promise you, if you hold right, he'll buy you some. And if you make him food like this, he'll pay your rent. Mmm. Mmm. Shit, that's good. Sorry. Uh -oh. All right. So, in, damn it. Why did I do that? It's okay. In a bowl, combine your cheese sauce and your salsa. To the flavor that you want. Now, if you want spicier cheese sauce or salsa, go for it, baby. I can't deal with that. I do not like a lot of spice. 
So, oops, that was quite a bit, it's okay. So we're gonna spread it just like them legs, go ahead. Onto your tortijo, remember when we made our homemade tortijos? Use those, you do not want to buy tortillas. There's no reason to do that. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of our chicken on it. Mm -hmm. Don't need that much chicken. Maybe like, it's probably like a half of a breast. Giggity. Actually, and put it towards here. Then we're going to start to roll it while we're pushing our chicken in there. See? And you want enough cheese sauce on the edge to seal it. There we go. Put that one there. We're going to put that to the side. We're going to do it again for the next one. And if you like your super duper saucy and cheesy and yummy, 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 then put more. But it's going to be a lot harder to roll if there's more um, in it. If there's more sauce in it. Okay, and put some more in there. You really want it on the corner that's going to seal it. So if you seal it up, or if you roll it up, then put it on the top. If you roll it down, then put it on the bottom. Okay. Do, do, do. And push in and roll and push in and roll and roll and roll and roll and seal and hold it that way. Okay, last little bit. Okay. It's got a little bit, you really like, if you're like me, you could put a little bit of that onion in it. Okay, oops. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay. Now just wait for your chicken, the other piece of chicken to cook and we're going to transfer them into another pot. Okay, so we are going to then transfer them to the cheese side down or the seal side down to our pot. Now they may open up, it's okay. But if it doesn't, that's awesome. <laughs> You're just gonna let it sit there and you're going to use different tongs, just trust me on that, for uh, to roll them around. Oops, oopsie poopsie. Need some pink tongs. Okay. And it really doesn't take that long to do these ones. But you just wanna, oh, that's hot as hell. And then let it sit there for a little bit. For all, ooh, excuse me, all of like three minutes. And then if you want to check it, you can, oh, it's not done yet. You can put your heat on even like medium high, medium to medium high. And just hold, 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 hold. I like to do a little dance where I practice my hula hooping because I can't dance. So I pretend that I'm hula hooping and that's my version of a dance. Um, you don't have to worry if I go, it's a mess. Okay. So because you don't want to burn them, then you can flip it the other side and if you're some some people like all all of the sides um uh fried that's fine you can do that if you want if i were you um i would practice with one, two sides first because it can get a little goofy beautiful see so they seal let those fry like a french fry, except it's not a french fry at all. I mean, I guess it looks like two, three giant french fries. I don't know. And I think that's, it. yeah, so it's literally like a minute and a half. Sorry. It's a coming. It's almost there. Just give it some time. 
I'm sorry. I thought it would be faster. Oh, it is done. Okay. All right, so then turn off your heat because you don't need it anymore and just transfer them to your plate. And you can roll them over to the seal side down. That way it looks prettier. All right, taquitos. So now you're going to take your delicious onions that hope and garlic that hopefully you haven't um, thrown away. You're going to pour that in your salsa or your cheese sauce, salsa mix. You're gonna stir that up and you're gonna pour it on top of it. It's not gonna pour perfectly, it's okay. Okay, so you can just do 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 do. I just like to smear. I love cheese. Remember, all hoes love cheese. If your man doesn't like that much cheese, you can skip some of the cheese and just kind of whoop, whoop. I also love sour cream. So, pour a little bit of sour cream on the side. Oh, I'm almost out. Put some sour cream on the side. Oops. And there you go. Nope. Put that in there. Taquitos! 